final speaker will be Eric Broder Van Dyke. Aloha. The story of John Van Dyke is one of a modern fairy tale. Born during the heart of the world's greatest war, he would live a life devoted to peace and understanding. In his youth, he traveled the world as the son of a diplomat, growing up in places like Germany, Turkey, and Washington, DC. John would continue traveling throughout his life as a global citizen, visiting well over 100 countries. For college, he'd attend the schools of America, Harvard, and Yale. Graduating during the draft years of the Vietnam War, he would choose to teach instead of fighting war. His teaching of the art of law would bring him to the land of peace and love, San Francisco, where he would start his own love story in the elevator of the Hastings Law School when his eyes fell upon a beautiful lady by the name of Sherry Broder. They would embark on a tale of love so powerful that one day it'll just be known as the story of John and Sherry. Their love would bring them to the land of Hawaii. John would come to Hawaii as a stranger in a strange and wonderful land. He'd leave the earth as one of Hawaii and all of the Pacific's greatest heroes. John was a gentle genius who strived for peace, justice, and pono in the world, fighting for the rights of those who had no way to speak for themselves. If we do nothing, they win, John would often say. He'd add to that a work ethic that was once described by a fellow high school student in Turkey as, you want to know about John? If you're going to do something in life, you might as well do it excellently. It's hard to describe the right words to use for John, but many come to mind. Honest, patient, humorous, intelligent, engaging, teacher, coach, loving husband, and father. His mind was much like his office, filled to the roof with knowledge and wisdom. But his heart called him to use all his gifts in the service of others. As his youngest son, I had the pleasure of being his student for 30 years through his daily teachings as my father, AYSO soccer coach, mentor, and best friend he made me a better person. So in unison with the thousands who have called John Van Dyke their teacher, I say thank you, John. We will make you proud. Ahui ho. What eloquence. Before we uh, sing together at the close of the program, and the words are in the program uh, in, in the midst of the beautiful pictures, uh, I'd like to first say that even though words clearly fail us, and the gap, the whole left, is irreparable, I think we've done quite a job with words and music today. It's been smooth and it's been powerful, and that reminds me of what Bob LeClaire wrote. He was there when John and Sherry got to Hawaii, and he described riding around in the big convertible, John in the Panama hat, and the V8 engine that was so smooth and powerful that the power never had to be used. That, too, I think, captures John's heart and John's mind and the soul that we have been discussing today. So all these facets of 
a complex person describe consistently the person whom we knew and loved. It is impossible to get one's mind around the fact that he has left. As David Callies, his colleague for more than 30 years, said, the strongest word he ever heard from John Van Dyke was yikes. <laughs> so yikes, thank you all so much for being here. There really are so many people to thank that they are way beyond too numerous to mention.